What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the garage. Uh, so this is technically part two of the last video I just dropped. Uh, had two mail calls yesterday. Super excited, but again, had to go school shopping. So those two boxes sat on my chair. Then I broke my tablet. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, it's been an ordeal. And uh, yeah, so now I'm using wireless headbuds from Walmart, which only lasts about 30 minutes fully charged which is kind of upsetting to me because I paid like 30 bucks for them 30 bucks for 30 minutes of charge so that's the only way I'm able to use this tablet to make more content for y'all so that being said done over with um, went to the post office ah, missed about five minutes could not mail out Tony's uh, diecast customs box you know for his 300 stuff win sorry Tony I missed about like five minutes, man. They locked that door quick. So, it'll go out Monday. Sorry, buddy. Um, I did leave the post office, drove to my HEB, and guess what they just had restocked? EK. Yeah, so, I was able to pick up like four cars. Yeah. Again, these are only for customs. Um, I got a friend, uh, he's a local friend. I found out he works in Pflugerville where I work at. And uh, he, his name is Travis the Smoker. Uh, he works at a barbecue joint. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, so me and him are hooking up pretty soon. Uh, he wanted one of these, I didn't have any extras. Luckily I found two. Thank you HEB for restocking old cases. So yeah, one of these will be going to uh, my buddy Travis, man. So yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm excited for you. I'm excited myself. And Travis likes to drink a little beer. So maybe he gets to come out to the garage and hang out. Did find one of these uh, Valhalla's, which uh, this will be custom tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love doing these, man. I've done, dude, I don't know. I mean, like 10 of them. Probably need to keep one. I probably need to keep one exactly original so that, you know, <laughs> yeah, I actually have it <laughs> in the collection, but I just, I just like this box. I don't know what it is, man. When it came out in premium, I got one, you know, from the James Bond or whatever. But the basic looks identical, identical to the premium except for the wheels. Now, of course, you know, that's the face, you know, but. This thing is fantastic, man. I just absolutely love the curves. I love everything about this car. So yeah, I'll be working on this one as soon as I get off this video. So I picked that one up. And I picked up one more of these, y'all, because I need those wheels, y'all. I then ran through all the ones I had. Now I do have extra, but they're going to the Godfather. And in fact, I need to get his box put together, but he said to just hang out for a little bit longer. Been that sweet. That is absolutely sweet, man. Those wheels are fantastic. Love them. I'm gonna buy every one that I see. I wish they had been at a Walmart because at a Walmart they were only like 388. But I paid 497 at uh, my HEB. It is what it is, you know. A dollar or more just just take the wheels off of. Lord knows I've done stolen enough wheels off of them. Uh, so yeah, here's two I've done stolen the wheels off of. So if y'all need these for customs, let me know. I know I want to keep one because it has a silver top. Oh, oh, They're dirty words. But yeah, it has the silver top, so this would accept a lot of different paint jobs. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just put wheels on it and be done with it if y'all haven't found those in your areas but here they're peg warmers so uh peg warmers mean wheel swap <laughs> I'll, I'll take the wheels every time so that's what i found today not much it's okay it's okay y'all i ain't gotta i ain't gotta find everything uh so yeah my hb just restocked ek and my Walmart just restocked G cakes. And I see everybody going J and K and whew, I would love to find some new some new cars, man. 
I mean, there's some new cars coming out that I would love to just buy extras just so I could do customs on. Yeah, but it is what it is. But the real reason we're doing this is because I want to open up this big ass box, y'all. I don't even have room for it on my camera stand. This is from uh, Chris. This is Chris's Junkyard Designs. Man, one of the best friends that I've got. I mean, he sends me more stuff that he needs to, but I love him. I love his uh, ideology, his politics, the way he thinks that the world should work, because I agree as well. Oh my God, holy crap, holy crap. Dude, bro, you give me your new channel stickers. Okay, so let's pause this real quick because we gotta put you up there. You know what? I like that spot right there. I like that spot right there. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna put you on the board. Come on. I don't have any nails, y'all. I chew my nails. I don't have any nails. My nails don't grow like Trevor's new. <laughs> no offense, Trevor. Oh my God. Look at this beautiful sticker, dude. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, there you is right there, Chris. There you is right there, Chris. I, I like both your stickers, man. But this one, simple, clean. I like it. I like it a lot. Would you look at that? Would you look at that, sir? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> Thor, Thor went down. I'm gonna cover you up, Thor, for just a second. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Chris. Love the new stickers, man. Absolutely love the new stickers. I'm sorry if the camera is all crooked and wobbly and dude, I don't mean, what do you expect for $4.99 from uh from Burks? Well that thing got some good distance. If it's flung the back of that sticker. I got at least 30 foot off of that thing when I clicked it. Wow. Personal goal. <laughs> All right, so let's look at this box, y'all. Because, oh, shoot, man. What the hell, dude? Chris is stacking them up deep, bro. Bro. Holy spikies, man. My desk is not that big, y'all. Wow, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put some of these back in the box. And uh, we're gonna have to do this. Wow, okay. We're gonna have to do this one at a time, y'all. Chris, uh, I did not expect that much cool coolness. Uh, but, man, I appreciate it. I'm kind of excited. Kind of excited, y'all. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Matchbox. I love Matchbox. Uh, Matchbox has come a long way from back in the day. Uh, and I love that Mattel lets them run themselves as their own division. They got their own castings. They got their own thing going on. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Matchbox does so much more details. They seem to put more front and back details uh, than Hot Wheels does which is okay absolutely okay so let's see this what's the first one what the hell what the hell oh bro this thing is sick <laughs> this thing is sick man i love it i absolutely love it when did this come out because i've never seen this uh they're reading through all of it uh made in china 2003 so we're talking 18 years old. Oh wow. Oh wow, man. I remember I sent you that one Rottweiler truck that you didn't have, and that was. I've never seen this, man. The Pound Hound. Yeah, he's gonna pound you with that big ass wrecking ball on the back. Oh my god, this thing is fantastic. <laughs> uh, look at that. Oh my god. Thank you, man. Uh, you just made my day. This thing is. If you just sent me this, th uh, this would just made me happy, man. My, oh my God. This thing is hilarious. I love it. 
Holy cow. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, I do not have this. I don't have it in this color. I don't. Wow, oh, that thing is fantastic. Look at that. That thing is absolutely fantastic. Oh my god. I, wow, I don't have this color. Dude, thank you. Dude, if you just sent me this. If you just sent me this. I mean, wow. Dude, that's crazy. I don't have that. What is this? Oh. I've never seen this. What the hell? The alligator. Oh my God. I've never seen this at all in my life. This thing is freaking amazing. Bro, this is freaking amazing. And I'm telling you, there's a hippo car running around Hutto that looks like this. It's like a hippo. Big nose, big everything, big jaws, or jowls, I guess. Oh my god. I would love to drive this thing. I would love to drive this thing. This thing is freaking amazing. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. I've never seen that. I did not know it even existed. Oh my god, there's a purple one? Are you shitting me? There's a purple one. And this is not made for kids, y'all. I'm a grown-ass man collecting Hot Wheels cars, so yeah. I collect Hot Wheels and Matchbox, and I've never seen this. Look at this. Look at this color. Oh my god. Who is this? 1997? Oh yeah, that's when I was first married and struggling, y'all. I wasn't collecting as much as I do now. Now I'm more older and settled in. So, focus. <laughs> that's a new trick I learned. Yeah, that's a new trick I learned. The cheese and crackers, man. I mean, it may look blue to you, but this is a gorgeous purple, man. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Oh my god. It's hilarious. I love it. Oh my god, are you cr Wow, I've never I've never seen this. Look at this rhino man. The rhino rod. I did not know that Matchbox did hilarious. I've always known Matchbox to do like serious cars. True representations. I didn't know that they did this. But this is freaking amazing, dude. And I love that they didn't just do everything gray. They did the horns in like ivory white. Damn. Damn, look at that bumper on the back. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> I'm good. Uh, wow, I'm thinking this is my new favorite casting that I've ever seen in my life. Gator car number two. Matchbox police car, like, it's got to be up there. From the top 10 castings, these ones you just sent me are now on the top of the list. I did not know that Matchbox did this. I've never seen this. The animal. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, again, 1997. Right there, look at that. Craziness. Dude, thank you so much. Because I don't have them. And in all honesty, I know I have enough protector packs to put them in. I've never seen that. I've never seen them in my life. Ever. Alright. Next box. Or next pack. Ooh. This case has not dropped on, on me yet. Dude, this is JK's. I mean, I'm still dealing with E and G case as my stores around me. This hasn't dropped. Oh, that's a sexy beast right there. Absolutely sexy. Look at that red. I love a good red. Wow. Craziness. Just absolutely craziness. Ooh. Now this one I do have. In fact, I do have the super. I don't think I have the basic. I may have the basic, but I don't think I do. Yeah, man. Oh, this is this is nice, man. Absolutely nice. And I'm sorry about the crappy detail on the video. 
this tablet, I think it's pretty much done. Been using it for a while now. About a year or so. Wow, thank you. Oh, I don't have this. This is the Super Cub. Is this the one that they use for the premium for Deadpool? This little casting? I don't know because I never bought that. The only thing I was interested in was in that gold Corvette. Oh, this is sweet. This is absolutely sweet, man. It's freaking cool. I love it. Sorry, man. Our user are killing me. Our user are absolutely killing me. Oh, my God. Look at this Greenwood Corvette. I have come to love uh, this Corvette like you would not believe. I thought it was hideous when I found one at a, at a garage sale. Then I customed it and I was like, oh my god, it's a beautiful car. And then I started watching documentaries on this. Hey, these brothers, man, were doing some crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, setting records, man. I want to say they went to Le Mans with their Corvette. And we're like winning, you know what I'm saying? It's nice to see American Muscle represented and then cuts much to the point that it's almost unrecognizable as an American product. But it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that, man. Oh, look at this. The new Ultra Hot. An old 442 is probably one of my favorite cars. It's, in, it's high on the list of the top 20. Oh shit, it didn't read rear details, and I did say shit. Sorry. Headlights, rear details. That that color is fantastic. That color is absolutely fantastic, man. Wow. And those wheels. People may not like it, but these wheels are better than those damn error discs that we got right now. And I'm sorry I just thumbed that car down, but... And this, Buick Regal. Look at that. Dude, look at that. And it has the gold wheels on there. Uh, uh, Alright, hang on a second. Uh, uh, Alright, I just licked that one, just so you know. No one's getting that car but me. That's mine. I already licked it, y'all. Yes, I did lick it. Sorry. Not sorry. Alright. Next package. Let's see what we got here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what we got. Oh my god, I don't have this. 2016 Ford interceptor utility I've never seen this car what year is this dude I've never seen this car this would have been two years ago released wow dude I've never seen this Chris I don't know where you find all your stuff at because you always showing stuff that I've never seen and uh oh my god this thing is fantastic absolutely fantastic Oh my god. My, my, my head's beginning to hurt, man. I've never seen this. I've seen this truck. I've custom this truck. Look at that. 1947 Chevy AD 3100. Look at that. Matched box auto repair. We only use Chevrolet parts. Oh my god. Wow, dude. Uh, that thing is fantastic I've never seen this 2017 2018 release I've never seen this because it would have definitely been in my collection already dude you're too you're too good to me man man I appreciate it oh my god yeah I, I wow wow okay Wow. I saw you show yours. I didn't know you were sending me one, man. <sighs> to me, this... I know the Cannonball Run was orange, you know. 
but this to me looks like a cannonball run car like that's what I would be driving on a cannonball run and someday I hope to be doing a cannonball you know I want to I really do I want to do a cannonball it's on my bucket list of things to do and I don't ever talk about my bucket list but running the cannonball one time I know they have different names now uh, I understand that but to do a cross-country race as fast as you can this would be this would be the van I would want to do it in because it's got to be a van I gotta be comfortable I gotta be able to sleep at some point damn man thank you that is just freaking amazing holy cow dude and I just saw that I just saw that on your video man I did not know you bought me one. Oh my god okay let's go let's go I don't have this one I don't have it in this color at all this thing is freaking amazing 59 Dodge Coronet police car the gumball machine on the top is probably as the cop car goes the gumball on the top just makes you think of smoking the bandit right off the bat you know those old cop cars I mean, and they were huge I mean it looked like a vending machine it looked like a vending machine for gumballs on the top that's how the truckers gave it that name but man this thing is fantastic oh my gosh wow dude this thing is freaking awesome dude thank you so much you're just fueling my collecting frenzy oh wow. oh my god okay so as things go this Cadillac whether it's a hearse whether it's an ambulance whatever it is this I thought was the best use of a Cadillac ever I mean they're already huge you know and to have it repurposed and rebuilt into something like this to me made perfect sense and I uh, what, what was that show I used to watch in the 70s man emergency maybe that was it and they would have these I'm like, oh my god these things are fantastic this is an excellent casting man oh my god dude thank you so much because I don't have this I don't and now I got two look at this what's it say it says surf dock on it beach patrol hidden cove look at that I've never seen this I have never seen this man this thing oh my god I'm gonna tell you a true story uh, I went fishing with my parents and in the 70s and my dad liked to fish under the uh, causeway going from uh, Corpus Christi to uh, Portland and we would fish under there right because we always seem to catch a lot of you know perch and you know other fish and uh, there was a black I swear to God there's an old black hearse all painted up in black and purple man a bunch of beach chippies living in it and uh, I just remember seeing that car all day while they were sleeping and uh, wow this just reminds me so much man because I, I can tell you that hearses limousines the resale value on those not very good not very good at all because they're a specialized vehicle and so something like this something like a hearse or, or limo you can pick them up fairly cheap you know because uh, there's only so much someone can do with something like that but that hearse was sweet man and this is fantastic absolutely fantastic man I appreciate this I don't have it I, I don't have it this is a 2011 so not very long ago but still very long ago if you never saw it Wow bro oh man it, I, I don't have a repeat of any of those at all I don't thank you man just thank you all right y'all last bubble wrap pack let's see what we got oh my god this is the rest of the ultra hot set look at that barracuda man Nash Bridges that yellow one he had was absolutely fantastic 
And I just picked up one of these at uh, that flea market, a red one, that I've been wanting to do a custom on. But man, look at this. Look at this. Man, they get right up. Dude, you, you didn't have to do this, man. Uh, but I appreciate you. This is fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. Craziness. Oh, look at that. I don't have a cyclone. I don't think I have a cyclone in my collection. Holy cow. It's like a Zamac. It is a Zamac. When you look at it, there's no silver paint. It is all bare metal with decals and I love those gold wheels, man. Dude. This set is freaking fire, man. My target has not gotten these. If they did, they were not there when I got there. Look at that. The 66 Ford Fairlane. Look. Tail lights done. Headlights done. Look at that paint, man. Would you look at that paint? Dude, thank you, man. Wow, okay, okay. I'm about to, I'm about to start hyperventilating. Oh, look at this. Look at the gold color on that El Camino, man. Dude, and I thought these were the ugliest thing because my dad had a 70. And I just thought these things were the ugliest thing in the world. But I, as I get older, I have a more appreciation for them. And this, by far, is a thousand times better than that damn art car they keep putting out. I hate that art car, man. That's gorgeous. Look at that color. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Now, this one. Plymouth GTX. Look at that. A Plymouth GTX is in my top 10 all-time favorite cars. I don't care how well it puts it out. Matchbox, Auto World, M2. The Plymouth GTX is one of my favorite cars. It just has a beautiful body style. This and the Javelin share a lot of the same body lines. Except the 70 Javelin had the fender flares on it. This is just a gorgeous car, man. I'm going to say... It's hard to pick a favorite, but this is in the top of my favorites right there. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Last car. Oh, my God. Dude, look at that. They blacked out the grill. They put in the light. They, they put a license plate in there. This is ultra hot on there. Holy crap. One of the designers must own one to do that extra effort, man. Holy crap, dude. Okay, I don't I can't pick a favorite. I can't pick a favorite, man. I love those Cadillacs. Absolutely love the Cadillacs, man, especially the surf one. I love that intercept in the fire chief. Dude, I don't know. I, I can't pick a favorite. I love this green. I have an issue with green right now, and green is like... Wow, I mean, I don't know, man. I love that El Camino because it looks fantastic in that color. This one looks fantastic. Man, I don't know, both of these right here. I just love them, dude. Dude, you, wow. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm sitting here looking at all these cars, man. Uh, all right. So I think I made my decision. As much as I love this, much as I love this, I think this is hard. I don't, I don't like picking, but I need to feel like I need to pick something. And uh, I want to say it's it's got to be these two right here. Number one, I just love a GTX. 
always. Fast and Furious, I don't care what it is. I love a GTX. Just in this with a high rate, the detail, uh, details done on the lights and everything. But I, I gotta say, it's gotta be the Super Van. Um, the Super Van has been one of my favorite casting since I was a kid. I had two uh, from uh, Frosted Flakes. You know, you had that mail in. And I got two of the blue Super Vans because that just spoke to me more than anything else. Wow, man. Side monitor exhaust, sudden move via engine. This how it lets me make the fastest first response. 280 horsepower, 110 miles an hour top speed, 9.8 0 to 60. That, those details as a kid, man, just would just like, woo! <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna officially say it. This is my favorite car, truck, van, whatever you want to say. I, I, I absolutely love the decals on this. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Ah, yeah. And then the GTX, and then the CUDA, then the pin that, and then the two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so Chris, uh, thank you so much because everything you sent, I don't have. Absolutely do not have. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling in the microphone, y'all. I'm just super excited. I have none of these. None of these, I have none. And yeah, so <sighs> I'm super excited. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm grinning ear to ear because I don't have this, man. And I, I, you gave me the complete set of the Ultra Hot, which is fantastic. I don't have any of those animal cars. I love the Rhino. Absolutely love the Rhino. I think that's fantastic. The Croc car, the alligator car, fantastic. I don't have those, so I need to like, I gotta put some stuff in cases, y'all. And uh, I'm good, everything's off the smoker, everything's in the house, people are already being fed and taking naps and what have you. They got like meat comas. <laughs> Cause, oh, Cause there's only four of us, why are you making so much food? I said, because I'm not starting a fire for no reason. But yeah, so anyway. Chris, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Dude, absolutely fantastic. I can't believe you sent all this stuff, dude. And, and that case hasn't even dropped yet. I, I'm still waiting. We're still working on the ENG case, man. That's ridiculous. Look at this. Look at that. That's a beast. <laughs> It's absolutely a beast and I love it, man. I just, you know what? Some days I feel in my expedition that I drive, like I just feel like plowing through cars. Just go down the middle, just throwing them off the road left and right, just because they don't know how to drive in the Austin area. But yeah, man, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> love these two, absolutely love them. And then these two, I absolutely love it, especially that 4 GT, man. You know how I feel about 4 GTs. I don't have it. It's going to look great in the collection. I'm probably going to open that up and just get them all together in one case. All my GTs in one case. <sighs> yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. But I think out of all these cars that I love that I don't have, it's going to be very hard to pick. But I'm going to say... Let's go ahead and do these three right there. Those are gonna be my all-time favorites, man. Thank you, love you, man. You always do way more for me than I do for you, and I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, love your channel, man. I, I may not always get to comment because I'm so far behind on everybody, but I always do give a like for everything you do because you show us stuff that a lot of us have never seen. I don't know how you find it, man. I don't know how you find it, but you do. And I thank you so much. So, that being said, thank you for stopping by the garage. I hope you enjoyed what we saw today. And, uh, yeah, y'all. Just keep out there, keep collecting, keep finding stuff. And if you find extras, give it to someone that has never seen it before. Because that's the greatest gift you can do is just a random act of kindness like Chris did. I didn't expect any of this stuff, you know. I, I, I really didn't. Uh, to have the entire set of Ultra Hot which has not hit my target, if it has, I missed every drop. Man, I don't know. I mean, I see people that have like videos of dump bins full of them, but I've never seen it. 
I've never seen it. So thank you, sir, for the complete set. Thank you for that. Thank you for everything. Um, thanks for stopping by the garage, y'all. Absolutely, absolutely love it when you stop by the garage. I love talking to y'all. I just love showing you what's going on, new stuff that's come in. And uh, as always, be safe, be well, and be kind. Always be kind. Until next time you're at the garage, I'll see you later, Grease Monkeys.